So yesterday we got some rather unfortunate news. Um, Pittsburgh Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin tested positive for COVID. So um, basically, uh, Mike Tomlin, he was diagnosed actually last week. So if you really want to think about it, like he, he's been diagnosed last week, but we got this new story yesterday. So uh, the Steelers did not confirm the head coach's uh, diagno uh, diagnosis. But uh, members of the coaching staff and personnel were sent home from the facility last week, you know, obviously to limit, you know, the spread of COVID. And despite the season not going on, you know, they're still around the facility. They still have a lot of things to do, such as scouting prospects. And, you know, the combine is going to be coming up pretty soon in March. So obviously they're going to be at their facility a decent amount of times. Um, he's entering his 15th season as the uh, Steelers head coach. Um, and the virus also affected the Steelers coach, uh, coaching staff during the season with then quarterbacks coach Matt Canada and special teams coordinator Danny Smith uh, missing time due to COVID. So, you know what, Nate, I'll let you start first. Your, th your thoughts on uh, Mike Tomlin being tested positive for COVID. Uh, well, first of all, I just wish him the best of luck. I hope he has a speedy recovery. Um, and that's for the coaches that were around him. You know, I wish him the best of luck, too. Uh, obviously, like we've been saying many, many times on the show, you know, COVID's very, you know, COVID's no joke, man. You got you to gotta be careful with that. Obviously, when even when you are, something happens and, you know, it spreads. It's just what it does. But, yeah, you know, I mean, you're, I mean, they're kind of lucky that they're not playing. At the same time, they're still at the facility. They're still, you know, you know, uh, making a plan for the next season, what they're going to do for the next upcoming practices or whatever. So, they're obviously, you know, most of, you know, most of the time, especially this time in the NFL season, it's mostly the coaches being around each other. So, like, you know, obviously they're still doing other things. So that's why we say that. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, he should be. He should, I, I hope, I hope he's very, uh, very well by the time the season starts. He definitely should be. And same thing with his other coaches. You know, make sure they're all healthy. They can play another season. Right. I mean, before I say anything, I just want to say best of luck to Mike Tomlin. You know, I'm wishing him a speedy recovery. I just want to say that the source for this was Brooke Pryor, ESPN staff writer. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, the season's not going on. So, like, obviously, circumstances could be worse, despite that fact he still has COVID, you know, and I hope that he's not being – everybody gets affected differently by it. We said this many, many times. Um, I, so I hope he's not getting affected hard by it. Um, so I hope it's just, you know, he hasn't, like, he'll have a speedy recovery and be back. But, like, circumstances could have been worse. It could have been still the NFL season, which means he misses a game. But instead, you're, like, kind of early into – uh, early after the Super Bowl and you're, like, early into the process of the offseason. So um, there's still a lot of, like, you know, football – there's still a lot of, like, time to go before football begins. There's still a lot of time to go before the com – a little bit of time to go before the combine. You know, you got probably – maybe like a week or two. Um, you know, obviously the NFL draft is in April, so you got a little bit of time before then too. Um, so, yeah, I mean, honestly, right now, I don't think it's going to affect the coach. I don't think it's going to affect the Steelers, like, plans too much. You know, I feel like whatever they can do right now, they can do it through, like, Zoom, and they can do it through online and everything like that. So I don't think it could really affect – I don't think, honestly, it's going to affect them as much as it would have if the season were to continue, you know? So, I mean, with that being said, though, I just wish him a speedy recovery. That's the first thing I wish him. I wish that his coaching staff is all right, too, that nobody got tested positive, neither there. So, with that being said, you know, um, wish him. I wish Mike Tomlin a speedy recovery, and I wish him the best of luck into the season.